Hello Zaniacs, I'm Lainey. And I'm Marshall. Today we're going to talk about No Exit by Taylor Adams. I swapped for this book after hearing so much about it. Everyone who read it basically was like, this book is amazing, you need to read this book. And I was like, yep, okay. The premise of this book is about a girl named Darby. I actually remembered her name. <sighs> so Darby, her mother has cancer. So she is uh, on the road trying to get to her mother who's undergoing cancer surgery. It is kind of a dire surgery to try to like get the cancer out of her body. Um, and on the way in like Utah or Colorado or something, she hits a blizzard. Her windshield wipers are broken. She has to pull over and she sees this rest stop at the side of the road. There's about, I think there's like two or three cars in the parking lot when she gets there. So she uh, goes inside the rest stop. She sees there's like maybe a couple people there and she hears on the radio that they are snowed in. So she goes back out to her car to see if she can find a charger for her phone, uh, which she doesn't have. And her phone is like losing power. And in the van next to her, she sees movement. So she looks in the van's windows and she sees that there's a little girl in a cage locked inside. So her mind jumps to how do I save this little girl? And who in the rest stop drives this vehicle? And she has to be very strategic about figuring all of this out because she doesn't know what's gonna happen to her because they're stranded for like eight hours until they can get uh, the emergency vehicles in to, to get them out. They're kind of in a remote location on a hill and there's not that many of them. There's like, I don't know. Four. I, I can't remember. There's like five people total. Um, in this rust area and so she also doesn't really know who she can trust it sounds very twisty turny and very nail biting um it's it's like one of those things because you've had these situations before haven't you where it's just like i see something that concerns me but how do i reveal it and make sure that this turns out well because this can go very badly that's what this feels like. It's it's gonna be one of those just like, oh, what if, what if, what if, okay. Yes. What if, what if, okay. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> I read this book in less, well, I started a book on like Friday night and I finished it Saturday morning. I could not stop reading it. I am lucky I put it down to go to sleep because I was like, oh my gosh. It just, this book just propels you forward in a way it never lets up. There is no lull whatsoever. If you are going to read this book, you need to carve out an amount of time, like three <laughs> hours, and just read the book. Even when you get to the end of the book, there is a spot, like the third page, maybe second to last page. I read it and I went, well, let me read that again. What? Oh okay okay <laughs> that's how this book is like it does not let up until the end it is every bit as amazing as everybody said i gave it five stars it's one of i, I would read it again it is so, it is so good and you feel like the premise might make it a little bit like gross and sinister yes there are two parts in this book where things happen where it's a little too human in its grossness. As in something happens to people in this book where you're just like, if you were watching it on a video, you'd be like, nope, not doing this. <laughs> that kind of thing, yeah. Let there's me know only, when it's done. There's only like a couple parts that do that. You can like flip it on through. That's the joy of a book. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so, are you excited to read it now? This is like I'm on your list yes. this month. Yes. Yeah. Um, I immediately handed it to him after I was done. I was like, your turn. You're doing this. Mm -hmm. It's a good book. Sounds fun. It's an amazing book. Yes. Please read this. Let me know if you want to read it down below because it is awesome. Uh, but thank you so much for watching our review. And until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.